Okay, folks, here we are again. It's boondocking with your Lance 2015 or boondocking with your Lance trailer redux. Anyway, this is our Lance 2014 1985 trailer. This is who we are. This is the warning sign you get when you come to our trailer. These are places we've been. I'm going to take you inside real quick and give you a little rundown on what Lance supplies that is just so beneficial for the boondocking experience. Number one, let me just slow down a little bit here. They have LED lighting throughout the trailer. Okay. And uh, this is something that we just had done to this 2014. They did not come stock with slide windows on the sides like this and it has really opened up the trailer. They do come stock with those now and it's just wonderful. And here in the bathroom, as you can see, we have plenty of lighting in here. This is a mod that I did. It's called a shower enclosure. Uh, it really improved uh, the shower experience from the uh, shower curtain. Uh, as you can see, we have more LED lighting. Uh, put an LED light in there. Anyway, I'm going to take you outside and show you a few things that make the boondocking experience even better by just a little bit of uh, modification. First off, we'll focus on this here. This is the trimetric battery monitor. This gives you an indication of how much juice you're using. Right now it's showing how much voltage I have um, backed up and there's the amount of amps I'm using. I've got all the lights on. I'm using about five and a half amps. That's a lot. And uh, that's the amount of charge I've got. That's my reserve. So this is a pretty handy thing to have. It tells you exactly what you're doing as far as uh, how much juice you've got and how much you've used. Uh, one thing I did to this trailer when I got it was I installed some nice LED lighting on the side of the trailer. This one here is a little bit of a mood effect light. Uh, it's constantly shifting color. It's kind of fun. And then I put in my own warm white LED light on the on the uh, awning barrel there and I've got it hooked up to a dimmer switch which means I can really tone it down and uh, turn it into a mood light when it's dark outside or late at night. Okay, some of the things we have here, we've got a little portable table which is pretty nice. You can set up and have four people eating dinner here if you need to. Uh, I've got a Keurig coffee maker, there's my Sanjian portable shortwave radio. Uh, then over here we've got, okay, if you got to have the headbangers. This awning came with headbanging units. Uh, in other words, the awning arms come down, especially for taller people. Uh, kind of an issue uh, with the LOA forum. Uh, and this is what we've done. We've got nice little things to hang down from the uh, arms there so you don't bang your head. Some people like banging their head. I don't know. But we don't. So anyway. Oh, who's that? Hi, honey. Anyway, one of the things I did outside here is I installed a uh, battery box. I've got two uh, lifetime batteries in there, AGMs, and uh, I didn't want anybody uh, with, uh, with uh, happy fingers lifting them off my trailer, so I put a battery box on there. As you can see, I've got a, uh, I've disconnected it now because it's dark, but that's my GoPower solar uh, hookup. And then I put a 12 volt, um, 12 volt outlet on there, so I've got power outside. And then we've got a uh, portable barbecue that I opted for instead of having something permanent. Uh, at least gives us options to uh, get it out of the wind, which is pretty important. We go camping in the desert a lot. And uh, over here, this is very important if you're into uh, electric coffee makers or anything like that, running the microwave. Got to have your generators. The reason I've got two of them out here is because we're up high in elevation. And uh, these little guys don't do too well at high elevations by themselves. So we've got two of them hooked up in parallel and it works pretty good. And then of course a must for boondocking is a solar panel. This is a 120 watt go power. I've put a Z amp controller on it and uh, it works great. Um, it's very important uh, that you do have portable if you're gonna park in the trees. We did not have sun on the roof all day long. However, Lance does supply from the factory a 160 watt go power panel, which I really wish that I'd opted for, as uh, sometimes uh, we don't necessarily need to pull this panel out if we're camped out 
oh, in the desert somewhere and there's no trees. But at any rate, this gives us options. So that's something to think about. And one other thing to think about, if you're going to get a portable, in fact, this is very important because the whole idea of portables, you want to get your panel away, as far away from the tread, not as far away, but you want to get it out in the sun. I mean, that's the whole idea of a solar panel is get it under the sun. So you want to have a nice extension cord. This is a 30 foot go power extension cord. It's got the nice connectors on it. And uh, lately, uh, California has been in a drought situation. We've had a lot of um, fire restrictions. Uh, no longer can you have campfires up here. So never mind the plate in there. Uh, anyway, so we went and uh, opted to get this little portable fire pit. And uh, it's been a very nice addition to our little happy boondock experience. And um, here you see, uh, well, let sleeping dogs lie. Well, he's sleeping. Honey, you're supposed to let him lie. Okay. He's... <laughs> Say hi, honey. Hi, honey. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Till the next time. Bye-bye.